This is Grégoire Marais and I rock jazz. Just my personality. I'm just putting everything into my music, so whoever I am comes comes and shine through the music, I guess. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't talk about particularly stylistically. I would just say that I just it's basically all the ex musical experience I had over the years that get that basically shaped who I am musically and my personality as well. And I would say it's the same with TV Wonder or Toots in terms of their playing on the harmonica so that's why we're so different because our lives are, are different completely you know and the musical experiences that we have uh, is absolutely completely different even though they are a huge influence I still had the chance for instance to play with um, Herbie Hancock or like Steve Coleman, Robbie Coltrane, Cassandra Wilson and those experiences really shape my, my, my musical vision No, it was difficult for me when I because I first of all I had there was the the barrier the language barrier that was very very strong I couldn't really speak very well English even though I studied it at school and then it was also just the culture I, I grew up in Europe it's a different culture so it was a, a, a kind of a shock but I got used to it I, I, and the thing that basically got me to come here and stay here was music and and. It was very obvious for me from the first days I was here that I was going to stay and, and try to get better in music because it was so amazingly uh, stronger than anything I could have ever heard and more touching me much more than anything I heard in Europe. So I was like, okay, I got to be here no matter how hard it's going to be. But it was very difficult. I would say several experiences did help me to kind of be exposed to a larger audience but maybe the first big break or bigger break was with Cassandra Wilson and uh, after that Pat Metheny, Marcus Miller, Herbie Anka. It's kind of a natural progression after a while when you've basically played most, almost with everybody the, the next step to is to kind of present your own vision of the music that you have inside of you that, that's, that's the way I see it so for me, after you know performing with all those great musicians, I, I just felt very natural to just concentrate on my own music, and it was just a matter of being really honest and 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 try to show what I've, I had inside me really. And I have a lot of things, so this is just the beginning, you know, because I I love funk, I love pop music, I love jazz, of course, I love all kinds of music. So I, I want to explore a lot of different things over the next many years. It's, it's difficult. I mean, it's but it's a, it's a beautiful thing to be able to present. Uh, for for me, for instance, to to be able to present my own music to a, an audience, whether it's a small one or a large one, is very very touching. So I just I don't want to stop. I'm not going to stop, no matter how hard it's going to be. Basically, so that's what I would say. I would say just you got to fight. You got to just really, if you really believe in what you're doing and it's it's of really high quality, you got to just uh, keep on going. I have a lot of experiences that were very inspiring, but uh, I would say that playing with Herbie was one of the most uh, special moments for me because I grew up loving his playing and, and being really influenced by him, Miles Davis, Wayne Shorter. So when I finally got the chance to play with him, I remember exactly where I was, when and how it happened. It was just really, really special. Um, I remember that was one of the only moments in my existence where I was uh, I was like I don't want to be anywhere else on earth but right here <laughs> right now playing where I'll be. There we go. This is Gregoire Marais and our rock jazz.